This is our uh, third lecture on algebra series. And these videos are meant for those students who are going to appear MSAT, IGCSE mathematics, any high school exams, foundation mathematics, and also those who are preparing to learn calculus. So this is um, a multi-purpose uh, video for many, many students. Uh, what I'm trying to do is here, to give you uh, more than one techniques uh, in order to in order to improve your algebraic ability and understanding the mathematics in a more broader sense, not only be able to just solve it up. So let's begin uh, today's uh, lecture. Uh, this is the third lecture in which I am going to explain you the another techniques of solving the problem for factorization completely different from what we have already done. So this is going to be this is going to be the another method of factorization factorization of quadratic expressions. So we come back again, the type one, which is like this, or like this. So method is going to be here different from what we have done before. In our previous method, in our previous method, we were solving the problem like this. We are considering the last term and breaking into two numbers such that their sum, uh, their sum becomes the coefficient of the middle term. So this was the technique we were using. But now, the new technique is just opposite. It's just opposite of this. In this method, we will not selecting the last term, we will selecting the middle term and find the two numbers which add up to give me the middle value. And when we multiply them, to give me the third term of the algebraic expressions. So if we try to take this question into consideration, then seven is going to be sum of two numbers such that their product is six. So this is the now another approach for factorizing the quadratic expressions. So remember when there is a, a sum of two numbers is seven and consider them, considering that they are not equal, then one of them will be halfway left of it and another one will be halfway at the right of this. So if the sum is seven, the half is seven over two. So the one of them will be at the left of this, another will be at the right of that. And they will be considered to be equidistance from the middle. So if I suppose it is U unit away from this, so one of the value will be seven over two minus U. And if it is U unit at the right, then another value will be seven over two plus U. So I have got the two numbers which when added together to give me the sum as seven. Where u is my own introduced variable. And I will be trying to find the value of that u over here. So when sum of this is seven, 
then their product is must be must be giving me six. So if we do algebra here, a minus b into a plus b, I will get a square minus b square equal to six, which is going to give me 49 over four minus u square equal to six, which is going to give me 49 over four minus six equal to u square which is going to give me 25 over 4 equal to u square, which is going to give me u equal to plus minus 25 over 4, which is plus minus 5 over 2. I'm considering here the value of u to be 5 over 2. So when you choose u equal to 5 over 2, the two numbers is going to be 7 over 2, minus u and 7 over 2 plus u. So 7 over 2 minus u is going to give me 1. 7 over 2 plus u, which is 5 over 2, is going to give me 6. Is going to give me 6. So the two numbers, the two numbers, okay, which is added to 7 and multiplied to give me 6 are already obtained, which is one and six. So my factorization directly become now x plus one into x plus six. This is completely a new technique, okay? And it is not very much uh, popular uh, in among the people who are solving the, or factorizing the quadratic expressions. But this is giving you the alternative thinking. This is developing my critical thinking. This is also developing me how to think out of box. So that is, uh, that is for which uh, I am uh, giving lecture on these topics too. Not only just you make you solve in one way, try to think critically, try to come out of the box and solve the problem. So this is one of the example uh, of solving a quadratic, factorizing a quadratic expression by a method which is unknown so far to us. So this is one example. I can be able to take another example uh, just here. Example number two. Example number two. So which is here? Say x squared plus ten uh, x and plus nine. So what I'll be doing? I will choose the coefficient of x, and I will take the half of this. One of the number will be this. Another number will be this. Such that their product. must give me the third number nine. So, so this is going to be five minus u and five plus u equal to nine. And I will be getting here 25 minus u square equal to nine. 25 minus nine equal to u square, giving me u is equal to plus minus four because this is 16, so u equal to plus minus four. So once I got u, the two numbers now, the two numbers are five minus u and five plus u. So five minus four and five plus four, so you got here one and nine, one and nine. So the two numbers you got one and nine, so the factor is x plus one into x plus nine. So this is our, uh, the new techniques for factorizing a quadratic expressions. Let's go for a problem like this. 
x square plus x minus 6. x plus x square plus x minus 6. Okay. So again, what we will be doing, we'll be looking at the middle term and find the two numbers, okay, which add up to one, but when we multiply it gives you minus six. So I will be taking one over two in the middle of one, and the two numbers will be this, and number will be this. Okay. So such that half minus u and half plus u give me minus six. Okay. But here the smarter way, we, uh, the smarter thing is what? Because the, the product of this is going to be minus six. So I will be choosing here, okay? And some of them is going to be positive. So the smaller one should be negative and the bigger one should be positive. That means, so the minus of this, is this is the smaller and this is the bigger one. So this is negative. So a negative of this multiplied by positive of this going to be six, which is going to give me negative getting canceled. And you get here one over four minus u square equal to six, which is going to give me one over four minus six equal to u square. Okay, wait a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Leave it like this as it is. So minus six here, minus six. Okay, then I will be getting here u square equal uh, 25 over 4. So u is equal to 5 over 2. So the two number become half minus 5 over 2 and half plus five or two, this give you minus two, and this give you three. So you got the number x plus minus two, one factor, and x plus three. So give me actually x minus two and x plus three as the factor. So <clears throat> this is how uh, we are doing the alternative way of factorizing, alternative way of factorizing. I will be just taking a half, taking the product equal to the last number, and then solving for u, and then put it back into the two numbers, and I got the uh, second part of the each factors, x plus, x plus. So that is going to be the second example. Let's go to the third example. Example three, x square minus x minus six. Okay, so now here is the coefficient of x is negative one. So I will be taking a half of this, negative one over two. The two number will be negative half minus u, negative half plus u, such that their product is going to be minus six. The product is going to be minus six. So I've been arguing here, this is your a minus b, a plus b, so minus half a square minus a square is equal to minus six, which is going to give me here a one over four minus plus six equal to u square, 20 over five, 25 over four equal to u square which is u equal to five over two. So one of the number is minus half, minus five over two. Another is minus five, minus half plus five over two. So this is going to give me minus three. This is going to be two. So factor is x plus minus three and x plus two, which is your x minus three and x plus two. 
so you are successfully able to solve this quadratic equation easily okay now here again if you go to solve the problem like this 2x square plus 7x plus 6 here what i'll be doing okay here what i'll be doing i can go back to the second technique that i gave you already okay i already gave you this one that you multiply by this number convert to the next variable z and then use that one to use this method and then return back to the original variable so that is what you can do easily okay so let's now uh, write this as s multiply by 2 so this gives you 2 e square x square 7 into 2x plus 6 this is going to give me 2s is equal to 2x whole square plus 7 times 2x plus 6 and if you choose 2x to represent new variable so going to give me z square plus 7z plus 6 and this one again can easily be solved can easily be solved be solved by the technique above I'll be taking 7 by 2 minus u, 7 by 2 plus u. Since this is already explained above, so I'm not uh, repeating this. I'm not repeating this. But the second problem, I might need to repeat it. So this is how we are going to uh, solve second type of problem also by the new method of uh, factorization, by the new method of factorization. Let's take another example. Let's take another example. Say, for example, 3x squared plus 19x and uh, plus 6, for example. Okay? 3x squared plus 19x uh, plus 6. Now, again, here is what I will be modifying this to suit our purpose. So, multiply by 3. So this is going to give me here 3s is equal to 3 square s square 19 times 3x plus 18. And I'll be choosing here. <coughs> sorry here. This is 3x square. So this is going to give me 3s equal 3x whole square. 19 times 3x plus 18, choosing this and this as z, I will get 3s is equal to z square plus 19z and plus 18. Okay, I can use the same technique in 19 divided by 2 minus u, 19 by 2 plus u, so that their product. is going to give me 18. So I will be now getting here 19 by 2 whole square minus u square equal to 18, which is going to give me 19 by 2 square minus 18 is equal to u square. And I can use a calculator here uh, to get 19, 19 by 2 square. So it is squared of 19 by 2 squared minus 18. This give me here 289 over 4. So this is going to give me here 289 over 4 u square. So u is equal to the square root of this, which is going to give me the square root of answer, give me 17 by 2. So I got u equal to 17 by 2, and then my two numbers is z uh, 19 by 2. The two numbers are here. Sorry. The two numbers are here. 
these are the two numbers. So I will be just now 19 by 2 minus 17 by 2 is one number 19 by 2 plus 17 by 2. So this is going to give me 1 and this is going to give me 18. So factor is z plus 1 into z plus 18. Now I'll be doing what? I'll be just replacing z by 2x, 3x, 3x plus 1 and 3x plus 18. And this is actually my equal to 3s. This 3 can be taken out from here. So give you 3x plus 1 and x plus 6 is equal to 3s. 3, 3 goes. My final answer becomes 3x plus 1 and x plus 6 for the original expression. So what I explained to you that the, uh, with the help of the new techniques, second techniques, we can also factorize a quadratic expressions. But remember, this is new technique. This is just to create a kind of uh, 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 a kind of a kind of disturbance in your mind, or uh, motivate you to think critically, or motivate you to think out of box in order to uh, develop love for mathematics. Okay, and it is going to give you an idea which you have when you go in higher studies. You will have to learn to think this way. Then only you will be successful. Otherwise. You won't be successful. So with this one, we are going to stop in the lecture over today. Uh, we are going to uh, do next time uh, another technique for uh, factorization. All these what I'm giving you an idea to develop the thinking, thinking ability to improve, uh, develop critical thinking, uh, thinking otherwise, alternative way of approaching to your problems. So this is going to help you, help you develop your skill in mathematics and which is going to help you in start loving mathematics. So see you in the next lecture.